be recording this intro. Um, <laughs> and I'll explain why in a second. But you'll see that I've actually already solved today's uh, crossword. So this is actually not an episode of the crossword vlog, aka clog. Uh, and we're going to do something a little different. So if you see here, the New York Times um, provides some basic statistics about your solve times uh, for each day of the week. And this isn't perfectly accurate because you'll see there's some times in here that are not actually me, you know, clicking play, doing the whole thing by myself and, and getting that time. So for example, I've obviously never solved a Friday in three minutes flat. Um, I, I believe this one, I solved it on paper first and then wanted to enter it in to like get the streak. Uh, and I'd also never solved a Sunday before, uh, at least before yesterday. So these times aren't accurate either. Um, I believe these are probably cases where I solved with another person uh, helping me, but it gives a generally accurate view. Most of these times are done by myself. Um, so it averages out pretty closely. And what I thought would be cool is to generate a random um, historical crossword puzzle and try to solve that, provided I haven't solved it before, and see if I can beat my average time. So we're going to start with a Monday puzzle, and we're hoping to get under 1030. So I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to generate a random Monday date um, and just go for it. And these are all from 2021 because um, I don't think I solved a bunch of puzzles in 2021. So we're going to look for February 22nd from the archive. So let's go to February 2021. And that is indeed a Monday that I've not solved. So uh, let's give it a try. 10 minutes, 30 seconds is the time to beat. And let's just get right into it. All right, players in a play. Uh, those are probably like actors or something in a while. Um, thousands in a rose bowl boat. Flower. Ooh, nope. Uh, Otto von Bismarck. He ruled with an iron fist. That's all you need to know. Uh, Welsh. Nope, had dem dinner in, uh, or ate in, it may say forever, no clue. Um, this would be lipo, as in liposuction, extreme pain, uh, agony, caboose's location, <laughs> like the end of a train, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> or it could be rear, um, as in like slang term. Uh, it may say forever, suffering, no clue. Uh, this would be an alpaca, Indian al animal. Uh, element 41, not coming to mind. Um, abbreviation below zero on a phone, no idea. Uh, the Iditarod is in Alaska, and I believe Nome is the northernmost city. Uh, ode or sonnet would be a poem. Let's look at some of these. Big-headedness would be an ego, bar from the bathroom, bar from the bathroom, not sure. Uh, one more, once more, a new. Uh, Muse's instrument would be a lyre, um, shrink in fear, cower, um, get stuff ready to go, pack up. Um, let's see if we can get... This longer one, um, give me a break, uh, or maybe give me a break, uh, enough, I'm not sure, think over, how extraterrestrials come, we hope, in peace, um, in a while, Operator, I guess, is the abbreviation. Um, I'll have to. Oh, I, I think anon. That's pretty hard for a puzzle, like ever and anon. Um, a forever stamp. Uh, a Welsh corgi, I guess. A uh, cast. Uh, torment is suffering. Uh, NSA. At ease. Ham it up. Um, emote. A great lake with a oh, must be eerie. Tails, uh, minx. Alert. 
could be like on edge or something. Uh, sprinted must be uh, Manx. Okay, IMF at International Monetary Fund. Um, on. Okay, uh, pieces of evidence in court. Not sure, but this is Lil Nas X. Uh, lira and the mark must be replaced by the euro. Faux fireplace autumn items. Something logs. Mm. Not sure. Okay. Score in hockey would be a goal. Um, Black Tide charity event. Nope. As expected. CBS drama. CSI maybe. Uh, speaker's platform would be a dais or a, I believe, I believe dais is right. Um, peppered with someone with questions. Alternatively, mm, it could be like a black tie gala. Alternatively, alternatively would be else. So gala works there. Turkey jumpstick would be a leg. Think over would be mull over. Enough is ample. Bar from the bathroom. Um, towel rack. It's a bar that's literally in the bathroom. Uh, so it is actually C CSI, and I just spelled dias wrong, I believe. Uh, you make something if you earn it. Uh, miso soup at a sushi bar. Uh, Sign of online shouting would be all caps. Uh, Emily or Charlotte Bronte, I believe. Um, Lucy, I think it's Lucy Lou, so that's international like that. Uh, exhibits, you know, exhibit A, uh, some piece of evidence. You may swat away a gnat. Uh, Hocus Pocus, of course. Uh, these are O's, aka French for waters. On Q, abode, it should be like a house. Ohio S, maybe? Um, I like Ohio State. USSR intelligence, or uh, that's KGB. Ukraine's uh, capital is Kiev, I, I believe. Spelled like that. Uh, yearn for something. Cove would be an inlet. And then on off device would be a. Ooh. On the ball would be alert. Gun as an engine would be. Oh, and a valve goes on or off. Okay. Fair for aardvarks would be ants. They're also called anteaters. Um, lapels is where you put those little flag pins. Look what I did. Nope. Uh, oxen are in yokes. Accidentally typed in <laughs> lead speak. Um, key for Debussy's. Okay. And usually it's A major, like A minor or something, but, um, could these be like gas logs? Um, I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but. It's an app description. Um, oh, there's a theme here that I haven't seen. Uh, game suggested by the ends. Rack, ball, break. Oh, this is like pool. These are all on cue. Yeah. Um, Genoa uh, is known for its salami, I believe. Uh, holds up in corn stock. Um, letters on love letters. Nope. Out of pocket. Oh, Ohio U. That makes a lot more sense. Out of pocket. G flat. Axel. Deal. Um, already then. Okay. Okay now, maybe. Anna, that works. And then SWAK. Oh, I have no idea what SWAK is, but let's go ahead and admire the puzzle and give a post-hostimus review. Um, overall, I think the, the theme is actually kind of cute. Like, if I was solving this a little more slowly, this would have made more of a difference, but um, these are all quite common phrases. Mm, towel rack, yeah, these are, all, these are all pretty common and they all definitely have something to do with pool. 
Um, you saw that once, once I saw these words, it was pretty obvious what game it was referring to. So I think that's a pretty successful theme. Um, there's a lot of like short words, nothing like to stand out. Um, you know, like torment isn't that crazy of a word. All caps is kind of cute. Um, and there wasn't really anything too, um, unappealing in terms of the fill. Often, you know, you'll have <laughs> a bunch of like random short words that you've like never heard of before. And that can be pretty frustrating, but that was not the case here. Um, the worst part I mentioned it as I was solving it was this Anon and Niobe. Um, I think that could definitely have tripped up a lot of solvers um, that have not heard Anon before and not have not heard of this. You know, you're, you're just sitting there, you're putting in G, a gone, a bon, a pawn. Um, so I, I would say that is probably the worst part of the, of the puzzle. Um, but all in all, for, for a Monday, I think this was more successful than the average Monday, um, but not a uh, standout by any means. So I think on the whole, I would give this a six out of 10. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can get a streak of these going. Um, so you'll see my time indeed was lower than the 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So I feel good about that. Um, but then the next challenge to try is see if I can do a Tuesday uh, faster than my average time. And I think that should also be possible. It'll start getting really hard around the Wednesday difficulty because there are plenty of Wednesday puzzles that I can't solve <laughs> in the first place, much less in like 25 minutes. But um, for that, you'll have to see the next episode.